What up YouTube, Will here. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. Today I'm going to show you how to make these amazing chocolate and malt donuts adapted from the legendary and multiple Michelin starred chef Gordon Ramsay. These donuts are filled with a delicious chocolate ganache and coated with a chocolate malt coat. These donuts are certainly going to blow your minds and make a lot of people happy. So without further ado, let's get cracking. First off, start by warming your milk and sugar in a pan on a medium heat just until the sugar dissolves. And then add that mixture to your yeast and whisk well and set aside to bloom for about 15 minutes. Make sure though that the milk mixture isn't too hot, otherwise you'll kill off the yeast. Aim for a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius. Once bloomed, combine your yeast and milk mixture along with your butter flour and egg yolks and start mixing with the end of a wooden spoon until you achieve a sticky dough as shown here. Then transfer the dough onto a lightly floured surface and turn the dough onto itself as demonstrated and then pop back in a floured bowl to prove for about one to two hours or, or until it's doubled in size. Whilst the dough is proving, let's make the ganache by combining the cream, chocolate, honey and butter in a bowl over a bain-marie. Whisk away and as soon as the chocolate has dissolved and continue to whisk for about 5 minutes to get a bit of air into the mixture and pop in the fridge until we need it again. By this time your dough should have proven, so transfer it again onto a lightly floured surface, deflate and roll it into a long log. Then using a rolling pin, roll it out until you get a 1.5cm thick elongated rectangular dough as shown. Divide this into 20 equal portions and reshape into rectangular shapes. Dust with a bit of flour and let it proof again for about 30 to 40 minutes or until they've doubled in size. Heat up a neutral oil such as sunflower or vegetable oil until about 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit and start deep frying the donuts for about 4 to 5 minutes until golden brown. A helpful tip here, don't overcrowd the pan otherwise the oil temperature will drop significantly and you'll end up with soggy and oily donuts which I'm sure you don't want. Once golden in colour Shake off the excess oil and immediately transfer onto your chocolate malt and sugar coating. Now for the chocolate malt, you can use things like Milo or Ovaltine if in the UK. Or in my case, since I couldn't find either in the shops, I combined Horlicks and cocoa powder, which works just as fine. Whilst the donuts are still a bit warm, get your chocolate ganache out of the fridge, give it a little mix and transfer it into a piping bag. Using a small nozzle tip, pipe that chocolate ganache into your donuts and fill until you start seeing the chocolate oozing out. Set aside the filled chocolate donut upside down until it is about to be devoured. Hope you all enjoyed this simple yet delicious chocolate and malt donut recipe. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and please do follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Hope you all have an amazing day and until next time, peace.